Number one, use your anxiety as fuel. It must seem weird to start off with this, but it's literally what I did to start ranking up from silver all the way to diamond. I remember some of my first ranked games I played in 2013. I was so stressed out, my hands were shaking uncontrollably. You become anxious because your brain is perceiving danger and it's preparing your body's fight or flight response. Your heartbeat speeds up, you start to sweat a little, hands start to shake, and you become more vigilant. What people do because they're pussies is run away from this feeling because it makes them feel uncomfortable. What they don't understand, and what you probably didn't either, is that these kind of physiological reactions are the perfect tools to help you on your climb. Why? Because the increased heart rate and focus that comes from your fight and flight response is ideal for amping up your map awareness. If you saw my intensity video, you already know that the best benefit you can get from high intensity isn't mechanics, it's map awareness. Using my ranked anxiety to amp intensity is one of the most important things I've learned in order to climb low elo. I was scared of losing LP and my friends judging me that I ended up playing only one to two games a day. Even then, I was even more scared that I played with neurotic focus, constantly checking the map, worrying for anything that can lose the game for me. And you know what? happened? I fucking climbed. You see, people with ranked anxiety tend to overemphasize the results of a single game. Losing even a bit of LP sends them down a downward spiral and scares them into not queuing up anymore. Then they come up with convenient excuses for why they don't play ranked and cope that ranked isn't a true indicator of skill and whatnot. If they could wake up the next day and magically be 600 LP higher, you think they wouldn't take it? You think they'd still be spotting the same coping bullshit? To be honest, I know how they feel because once upon a time I was also spotting the same cope. But don't worry, there's hope. Aversion to losing can actually be a good thing. Being scared of losing forces you to play as well as you possibly can by taking every single variable into account. Playing to win is better than playing not to lose, but playing not to lose is still way better than not playing at all. However, even if you manage to harness your ranked anxiety into fuel for your LP train, you still won't get anywhere without number two on this list. Step number two, cultivate champion mastery. I'm gonna beat this dead horse into the ground, and if its ghost comes back to haunt me, I'm gonna beat the shit out of that ghost too. Champion mastery is not just a helpful tool that will help you climb, it's a law that should be followed. It's literally a fucking steroid for LP and it boggles my mind why more people aren't taking advantage of it, especially since unlike steroids, it has no real downsides. A common trend that I see with people that have severe rank anxiety is that we think too much about absolutely useless shit. And one of those absolutely useless things is getting countered. You wouldn't believe how much sleep I lost trying to curate the perfect champion pool that is immune to getting countered. And you wouldn't believe how much more sleep I've lost when my perfect champion pool gets absolutely fucking curb stomped because I have no idea how to win with any of those champions. If you're worried about losing LP, and ranked, you're worried about the wrong thing. What you should be worried about is how to carry with your champ. By focusing in on your champion, you'll realize just how much control you can have over your games. Your champion, no matter how basic, has a world of possibilities inside them. So go into ranked and immerse yourself in those endless possibilities and optimize your champ. And I promise LP will follow suit. Now, whereas champion mastery reduces ranked anxiety by focusing in on the champion, accountability reduces ranked anxiety by focusing in on yourself. If you're a moron that blames everything from teammates to riot to the weather, at the first sign of something going wrong in your games, not only are you a subhuman monkey, I can confidently say you'll never amount to anything in life. Accountability is one of those things that forces someone to get really good at a chosen skill set because the root cause of all your problems becomes you. It's not enough that you know your mistakes, you gotta force yourself to fix them. Instead of worrying about how your teammates will run it down this game, come into each game mentally prepared to carry them and hold yourself accountable when you don't. It won't mean you're gonna win 100% of your games, obviously, but you'll go from winning 10 out of 20 games to 11 out of 20 games, and that is actually more than enough to climb through the ranks of league. 50% win rate to 55% win rate is massive guys. If you want to learn more about how to do this, you can refer to the 0-2 method that I taught in my accountability video linked in the top right. Now, here's a bit of a gem for people who have watched the video for this long. The fact that you suffer from ranked anxiety means you're actually already taking accountability. You're already looking inward, but you're looking in the wrong place. Instead of trying to figure out what you can do right, you're worrying about what can go wrong. Recenter your brain and understand that league isn't a brainless single player dopamine dispenser. You won't win every fight and you don't get to hit restart if you have to lose. Things will always go wrong. Rather than being a little bitch that gets scared of losing your LP, become a problem solver that can rise up to the challenges the game throws at your face. Speaking of things going wrong, you need to understand that even the best players on the planet lose games. Did you know that for every 3 games you play, you're bound to lose one of them? Did you know for every 10 games you play, you're bound to lose at least 4 of them? Welcome to League of Legends. You'll never win 100% of your games. You'll win around 40%, you'll lose around 40%, and the remaining 20% is up to you to carry. And before I have people in the comments who have a PhD in auto-lose games, this is just a sample size I found in my own unranked diamond challenges. The game is all about putting ourselves in the best position to carry, knowing some games are simply unwinnable from the jump. Don't worry about going 0-2 and losing about like 36 LP or something. Worry about going 0-2 and not learning anything to help you in the next block of ranked. You've only really lost when you don't learn anything meaningful. As long as you're aware of your mistakes and you give yourself enough time to fix them instead of spamming games like a monkey, you'll always end up climbing out. Losing LP is a very, very, very small price to pay if it permanently makes you a better player. I can 
can give you all the tips that literally got me from silver to where I am now. But at the end of the day, guys, it's up to y'all to implement them. All of these tips, while nice in theory, won't change much unless we fix the root cause of the problem. And the root cause of the problem is being susceptible to other people's opinions. Now, it's natural to worry about what other people think. It gets a bit better as you get older and start paying bills and whatnot, but it never really goes away. However, it's important to remember that the people that want to shit on you will always find a way to shit on you no matter what. This is something I've learned over the years, and, and it's that there's absolutely no way to please everyone. And even if there was, there is no reason to please everyone. If I'm being honest, I have so much regret that I didn't grind ranked as much in my high school days, all because I had crippling ranked anxiety. When I first did my ranked provisionals in 2013, I actually finished bronze too. I was easily the worst player in my friend group. If I could go back 10 years and give advice to my 15 year old self, I'd tell him it's better to try and fail rather than not try at all and cope. If you try, you at least have a chance of success. If you avoid the problem, you will always fail. Learn the difference, press that play button and put your best foot forward. Now, if you're all amped up and and ready to climb some ranked and you don't know where to start don't worry i got you covered my one-on-one -on -one coaching is currently more than 53 percent off it's as cheap as i could possibly make it if you value your time and want to accelerate your lp gains hit me up on discord or schedule a call on calendly to get started both links are in the description below there are three very basic climbing fundamentals that got me from silver to diamond the first and most important which i already mentioned is champion mastery it's probably the most important piece of advice i could ever give you it's a very basic concept that could literally save years off your climb click here and watch this video to learn more more about champion mastery. Good luck.